I've been asked to explain what the difference is between HE and HESH. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Enigma, a self-proclaimed military nerd and a little bit of an idiot. And today, we've got a viewer suggestion from my Discord channel, link in the description. This video has been in the works for a while, so I hope you enjoy. To start the story off, let's talk about the HE shell, one of the most basic shells made, being just a simple shell packed to the brim with high explosives, as God intended. Typically a composition B or RDX TNT mixture, it's very good at hitting soft targets like trucks and emplacements, but also equally good for squishy targets like people and civilian airliners. However, in most cases, unless you have a really big fucking cannon, it is near ineffective for anti-tank rolls. Now, here comes along the guy she tells you not to worry about, the Hess shell, standing for high explosive squash head, because as the name suggests, the head squashes. This shell uses its squishiness to squish against the relatively less squishy target and then uses the larger surface area of the pat, yes the same term used to describe a cow landmine, to have a larger area of explosion. This technology improves the transfer of energy to the target. Now if you will consult this amazingly professional cross section I have made, you can see at the top of the graphic the Hess shell will conform to the societal norms of the armor and lose itself. The shell conforms to the armor and when it explodes, due to its large surface area, the shockwave moves through the armor and shatters the internal side of said armor, sending Ulf Alch Aoi Spal through the tank, hitting the crew in all of their bits, where the HE just kind of explodes on the top of the armor in an attempt to get straight through it. Wait. What actually is Spal? Spal, as the name doesn't suggest, is a fragment of armor that has broken off the larger main piece of armor. As you can imagine, this isn't entirely nice for the crew inside. They aim for this result instead of a full conventional penetration, as it is easier to achieve in comparison to just wanting to cause enough mechanical stress to the armor. As you know, the Hesh round is a shell that the British get a lot of use out of, and still do. Most notably, the FV-4005. <laughs> the British have quite a fondness for the Hesh round due to its wide versatility on the battlefield, as it can squish nearly anything an average tank might face, to death. However, if there is a tank, the commander will almost certainly fire APFSDS rounds over the Hesh, as ERA, Explosive Reactive Armor, can have a detrimental effect on Hesh as it is not able to contact the main armor. But back to its pros. The design of a Hesh round has been shown to be effective against concrete structures like bunkers or buildings, basically meaning that a Hesh works well as a multi-purpose round. Additionally, the rifling of the British guns, including the current Challenger 2, improves the effectiveness of the round as the spin that the barrel imparts onto the shell makes the plastic explosive spread out further and have a larger pet area. To summarize in a gross oversimplification, HE is an explosive directed at destroying the exposed side of the armor that it makes contact with, where HESH is designed to make very little external damage to the armor, but send spalling throughout the interior of the hull. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. And since you're still here, I'd imagine you want more content. So remember to like and subscribe to guarantee more and to hit the bell button to get notified when I next upload. I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless and at least learned something. Until next time.